Hi, I'm Bob. After fitting the linear regression model with the instrumental variables method using the command IV regress, we can call the post estimation commands to perform tests or report statistics. In previous videos, we have learned ESTEC first stage, ESTEC endogenous, and ESTEC over ID. In this video, let me show you how to visualize the fitted values and the marginal effects after instrumental variables estimation. Let's continue to use the dataset for the US female workers. You can download the dataset from the link below. We are interested in the relationship between wages and education. We regress log wage on years of schooling and factors that affect wages, including age, region, and race. The OLS estimate suggests that one more year of schooling increases wages by 14%. We can use the margins command to calculate the fitted values of log wage for different years of education. We we'll use the at option and put the range of schooling inside the bracket. It's from 7 to 17 years in the sample. We save the result for later years. Next, we use the instrumental variables method to estimate the schooling effects on wages. We suspect that there were Omitted variables in the OLS model that affect wages, such as the unobserved ability and personality. They are correlated with both wages and education and lead to omitted variable bias. Parents' educational attainment could be used as an instrumental variable for their children's education. We type IV regress two stage least squares, log wage, and a list of explanatory variables. We specify the IV in the bracket and use the first option to show the first stage regression results. We find that the schooling effect on wages is higher than OLS at 19%. We can also use the margins command to calculate the fit values of log wage for different years of schooling. Then we can use a user written command combo margins plot to draw the margins plots for OLS and IV regressions. The slopes of the lines are the marginal effect of years of schooling on log wages. The steeper line for IV regression confirms that the IV estimate is larger than the OLS estimate. Stata provides another command, e-regress, for linear models to perform IV regression. The extended linear regression command, e-regress, is a versatile command. We have learned it in the last video. We use the endogenous option for the omitted variables case. Inside the bracket, we put the first stage regression. We also use the margins command to calculate the fitted values of log wage for different years of schooling and store the results. The margins plots using the E regress command are similar to the plots using the IV regress command. Next, let's take a look at the nonlinear models with IV estimation. We run a probit model for the women's probability of working. The outcome variable, labor force participation, is a dummy variable. It takes the value 1 if the woman is employed and 0 if unemployed. We type probit, labor force participation, and a list of factors that influence women's choice of work like the education, number of children under 18, and race. We use the margins command 
to calculate the marginal effect of schooling on labor force participation choice at the means of all regressors. One more year of schooling increases the probability of working by five percentage points. We can use the margins command to calculate the fitted values of working probability for different years of schooling and store the prediction as probability play and to calculate the marginal effects of schooling on working probability for different years of schooling and store the marginal effects as probit me. Notice that in nonlinear models, the marginal effect is not a constant as in the linear models. It varies with years of schooling. Then we use the command E probe it to fit the nonlinear model with IV estimation. We use the endogenous option and specify parents' education as an instrumental variable for their child's years of schooling. We use the margins command to calculate the marginal effect of schooling on labor force participation choice at the means of all regressors. One more year of schooling increases the probability of working by six percentage points, one percentage point higher than the standard probit model. We use the margins command to calculate the fitted values of working probability for different years of schooling and store the predictions as IV pro pre, and to calculate the marginal effects of schooling on working probability for different years of schooling and store the marginal effects as IV plus me. Finally, we draw multiple margins plots using the user written command combo margins plot. We see that the fitted values of working probabilities increases with years of schooling. The slopes of the lies are the marginal effect of schooling on the choice of work. The IV probit estimate has a little bit higher slope than the standard probit. It can be seen in the margins plots for the marginal effects. Education has a larger marginal effect on the labor force participation probability using the instrumental variables method but it's not statistically significantly different from the standard probit estimate. Thank you for watching this video. See you next time.